Hello, Sugarshot01 here, and welcome to this video showing off things that might and will come in the future on the 1.7 update and beyond. So let's get straight into this. And by the way, only 12.6 of you are subscribed, so do you know what you should do? You should subscribe now! And yes, like the video while you're at it as well, that would be greatly appreciated. Um, and you can even, you cannot subscribe later because that is mean, you should not be mean. This information is correct as of the 27th of the 9th, 2020 at 2.50pm PST. So, first of all, Charlie Rose Vogue says I th he thought a few stations could do with a facelift. So some significant renovations going on in the main line, but where could this be, I wonder? Well. This is very interesting, so it's got two tracks going straight ahead and two tracks going to the right a little bit. Uh, this could be from either end of the platform, but by the looks of things, it's either... Um, not proper into what we're talking about. Actually, yeah, it could... No, it's not because it's Connect. Um, it's either Benton Bridge or Hampton Hargate because the tracks can go off in different directions at Port Benton but they could move that to Hampton Hargate and they could go off there so that's my thinking there uh, that is definitely coming uh, next up we have got uh, the Benton Bridge another station with a bit of an upgrade so we know it's definitely not Benton Bridge actually because number one if you look at uh, this big tower it doesn't it's not in the same position really because there's more of these and if you look at the roof line I don't believe it is the same actually it could be no it's not because if you because on the first one the black roof goes all the way down but on this one the black roof is only at the top bit if you get what I mean so and it says another station so it's probably not Port Bento it's probably going to be Hampton Hargate Uh, Bantech. Bantech then said, if you're a signaller or a supervisor, you'll know how important it is to finally have the information on hand to the network. So this is a short signalling sneak peek of before or after. I really like the train list, the new train list feature, but I'm still not 100% sure about the um, new, um, the actual user face thing. But I'm a big fan of the timetable board thing which they've added which is a lot better than the old one uh, then we've got Charlie Roblox again RBX uh, another station upgrade courtesy of the Hazard 9 but what could it be I think I don't think it's uh, Stepford UFC because that's just been upgraded uh, but I think this is yeah, West Wyvern because it does need a bit of an upgrade I think that station although it was one of the recent stations but I think it could do with an upgrade with the scenery if you see how many trees there are around there it's just empty base plate sort of thing Next up we've got the Benton Bridge it's a very seat gradient not sure about that I think they could do a little bit less thing because yeah, it could be a little less steep at the top of it especially. But I think I think it's nice. I'm just thinking of how it would look from a first person's perspective. It looks nice from out here, but the first person it will just be looking at the tracks going up and then like that. So that's what I'm just thinking about. Then the band take in case you missed it, here's an early look at the signaling interface, which is basically like a 20 minute video. I don't actually know how long it is going on about um, this new signalling network and he's a lot better at doing thumbnails than I do. Um, and again, we've already got like 5,000 subscribers. Um, and it just goes on about how the new signalling network is. Um, there'll be a link in the description if you want to watch that. Hopefully I remember. I probably won't, but I hopefully will. Uh, newer Nectro Star Trains. You can see the bit at the bottom. There's the, shunt, the, the grappling things. <laughs> whatever they're called, uh, the new livery of the airlink and the dot, white dots which I've only, s which I, I did only see on the waterline I think before but I think they added them on the things. Uh, yeah another stage received an overhaul, it is East Beverly, yes if you zoom in on that side, 
This is East Beverly, uh, and it looks very nice. I think it's a massive upgrade for East Beverly. Now I'm just thinking, what's going on to Beauty Park? Because it's meant to be a park, and it just doesn't look like a park very much. And now for the things that might be coming as well, but it's not mentioned on the Discord because I'm only looking at things on the Discord. If you've been like DM'd by somebody else doing it, then it's not going to be in this video, obviously. Okay, first of all, I think that maybe the advertisement system might come up um, because it's been a while and I think it's been quite good and I don't know. Really. I also hope that the functioning level crossings will come up, but I'm not counting on it. Uh, and finding maybe the James Street extension, still not counting on it though, but maybe, maybe the new announcements for the cancellations and maybe predictive platform allocation and also the random platform allocation thing like they've got at Lynn for other terminal stations, I really really like that. And the level crossings, level crossings and the platform allocation thing, those two things are really good. Okay, so um, now... You better wish me good luck or else, because I am going to try and do, um, if I go into application form, whatever his name is, Frosted Plasma 13, uh, he's got a new application for a senior guard, so I'm going to do that. So you better wish me good luck by liking the video, subscribing, and try and make that subscribe thing go up to at least 50%. Rose. Oh, Russell, Russell, Rose. Okay, anyway. Thank you for watching, like, subscribe, more videos if I do get senior guard, uh, and more videos in general to come, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye!